Something's on my mind. How much farther can I go? Uh, I thought we were going to see some real sparks fly between Will and Karlak. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Karlak's got the brawn of a warrior and the wiles of a survivor. Best of all, she speaks her mind plainly and fully. Show her due respect. It is over where I am concerned. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Now, well, you've earned my respect and more still. You've proven your wits. You are efficient and dominant, in and out of battle. You've proven your courage. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon to plunge into another. And you're hardly bland. Your scent alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. If you must know, Vlekith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver, and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be. To survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Ah, enough talk. I will be plain. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. But I want it all the same. Do you? Yes. Perhaps one night soon, I will come to your bunk and take what is mine. Until that night comes, I shall keep enjoying your scent. Speak. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not keep me waiting. Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise you'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a man with one eye. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. The 
There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Twice over, in fact. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate... Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this... I hope my time will yet come. We aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. And get murdered by a pack of goblins or gnolls instead. Lazelle might be a reluctant ally, but she is good at killing. I'll point her in their direction. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy. Rather poetic, I think. With pleasure. Lead on. Let me see if I can paint you a picture. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected a lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. The two of them conspired to give me a little gift. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. 
Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. High pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. A weaponsmith, huh? Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. Yeah? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. What can I do you for? It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Let's go, go, go. me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Perhaps you... No, that's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. You... You might be right. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaythisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The Tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the Parasite's powers.
well met. I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious, but once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Yes, I suppose we should. Though I'm more than a bit wary. Still, I am the Frontier's avowed protector. New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the Tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. I will consume what I must to make it so. What's the story? You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more lithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. And yet... You're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. Do they? I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. Ugh! How do you do that? Always making sense when I least want you to. <sighs> Fine. I'll keep an open mind, all right? I can promise that much. Now, are we done here? Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. And some might say eels and turnips boiled in milk is a delicacy, but some are fools. I'll make my own mind up. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. Shah's blessings upon you. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Yes. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Don't touch me. Let's get going.
not over than through. In silence. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Nah, it'll be fine. Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe to toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Might be useful. <laughs> the corpse regards you lifelessly. No more questions. of use.
was fighting the gnolls. We should help. Don't be a fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. The pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast! No, the voice has forbidden this meat. Noll see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. A memory. The beast daubs the symbol of the absolute on a cave wall in blood. Buried deep, a tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. The Knoll's tadpole writhes in ecstasy, echoing your command. Its host will feast on Knoll flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved.
to keep going. Oh, oh. The hammer's gonna fall. on the way. hungry pit. The flesh of her pack wasn't enough to satisfy her. Her tadpole responds, thrashing violently, and the fragile tissue of her brain tears and splits. You taste the blood in her throat, feel it pooling in the cavity of her skull. But she still resists. She resists, her mind's teeth piercing your brain. Pain shoots through you. She severs the connection and prepares to attack. is my happy place. Sounds well.
anything up. Gods, you're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door, Little Serpent, Long Shadow. He'll take good care of you. Shame we lost so many agents. But the chest is all that matters. Zaris would have our hides if we lost it. Aye, the whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Tarenths. Tarenths are the currency of the Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. Rich men place more value on wine and fine clothes than on the lives of folks like me. It's a pretty bit of frippery that'll sit on a mantle gathering dust. But the pay for delivering it makes the risk worthwhile. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever lad like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. I like the way you think. Didn't expect to turn this horror show to my advantage, but why not? The chest's all yours. Damn thing's sealed tighter than a duke's purse strings. So there's no point in trying to open it. I know a fence in Baldur's Gate who'll take it off your hands. Nobody will be the wiser. Don't try to cut me out of the deal, though. The Black Network has eyes and blades everywhere. Crafty swine like you could make a name for yourself in the Zahentarim. Make sure to drop by our hideout. Don't waste a step. I don't suppose you have any clue where we are in relation to the water. Do you? From this distance between Elturel and the Baldur's Gate, I'd say a long ah. way away. That will make getting word to my mother rather tricky. My no matter. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. Not at this distance, anyway. Let's have a look. Careful, I buy it. Moving. Something over there. At least things have stayed interesting. Time to press ahead. 
I should speak up. I'll be glad when we're out of this bloody cave. <sighs> All right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Something good here, I hope. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Just another crate. Someone there. Be careful. There are traps about. All's well that ends yeah, not as bad as it could. Just another crate. These boots have seen everything. No one back home will ever believe this. Light on my feet. Yes. for me. Open up.
smoke. Something's burning. Need anything else? Always happy to help those who follow the first circle. Sylvanus be with you. On my way. I'll give it a shot. Something's on my mind. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? No, the druids are too powerful. We can't stand against them all. It's Korga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. No word from the scouts yet? No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Easy, Molly. What will we do for yeah, right. the city? Whatever we want. I think I'd make a fine teacher. Or a baker. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. The adventurer sleeps soundly, his breath steady, his wounds expertly bandaged. I'm drinking. You're leaving. I already told you. He was at the temple ruins with us. But it ain't like we forced him to go along. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. Yeah, and I'd do the same again. It weren't my responsibility. If you want to play the hero, go ask the goblins nicely, and maybe they'll give you whatever's left of him. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Weren't no profit in saving Liam. You'd make a crap sellsword. But thanks. No helping it. We're exposed now. <laughs> Oh, 
Hello, Petal. Need anything? Any lotions or potions? Hey, bother. I'd die if I met Leroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. No, sweetie. Thought I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the house. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Phew! You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demano valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help them. I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Vernus. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of aid. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... ...changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? I, I think miss I my forge. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Oh, don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. The scowl on your face would frighten a troll. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down. But it did juice me up. I don't think I've 
ever felt more powerful. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Oh, fuck yes. I'm ready to burn all night. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? No help again. We're exposed now. <laughs> She's coming. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. God damn it. Anyone but her. Now? But I'm just getting comfortable. Call me Mazora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But Karlak's still breathing. I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mazora, and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Karlak, Zariel sends her regards. You told me! Devils only! She's a tiefling, not a monster! How precious. The little pupster's found his bark. Clause G, section 9. 
Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Karlak meets the criteria by virtue of having no heart. Kill me? I wouldn't recommend it. I die, and Will turns to a Lemure and gets sucked right down to the hells. Which reminds me. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. That's better. What the hells have you done? A promise broken, a price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Now, let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget. Our pact still stands. Ta-ta. I'll be honest, soldier. I'm reeling. Will hardly knows me, but he chose my life over his. <sighs> Been a long time since someone stuck their neck out for me like that. You can say that again. When he was chasing me through Avernus, I thought he was just another sad merc. How wrong I was. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mazora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. Warlock pets tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe punishment. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast eldritch blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. It could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. 
The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. Ah. The one little question that put me out of house and home. I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Well met. It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck, not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Then, I'll fight ever harder, be ever stronger, till my deeds eclipse my appearance. The people will see a curiosity, maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe, and one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. We know our bodies inside and out. Let me show you. Close your eyes and submit. understand. Allow me to be plain. You are here for my pleasure. In my pleasure, you will have yours. A final chance, then, to find bliss. Close your eyes. Submit to me. Pause, and then the flicker of a tongue across your neck. Open. Taste. You are a lapdog. Zells to command. Never has domination. You awake in pain. Your back, your hands, even your tongue ache. It's time to rise. Dawn is upon us. Every breath, every blink proves exhausting. A long day awaits you. How can I help? 
I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Curious. I drained you dry. Yet your body seems no more worse for wear. Perhaps I might find use for it again. Perhaps if I'm in need of relief. Until then, I'll enjoy watching you squirm from the anticipation of it. It is done.